Hello and welcome to Crafting Unedited. My name is Sierra and today I'm going to show you a new feature, well kind of new feature, that Cricut has um, made possible. Which is being able to have it open in multiple screens. So you can be working on multiple projects all at the same time and you can copy and paste and move items from each project. So. Let's go ahead, just dive in, and I'll explain more as I'm going. It's very, uh, it's more hands-on than <laughs> it is explaining. So you can see here, I have one window of design space open with little baby Yoda here. There's some other things too, but little baby Yoda guy. He's here, he's happy, but he needs a friend. He needs to have another tab open. So I'm just gonna, this is on a Mac. Um, it should be the same process for any other computer, but I'm using a Mac. So you're going to go down to your design space, right click on it, go to options. Just kidding. It won't let me. Okay, never mind. Just kidding. I lied. I had a brain fart. You're going to go up to file, new window and it's going to open up a new window right over here and then if you want another one open file new window it keeps opening up on my other screen but that's okay you can have as many design space tabs open as you want here's the thing so you can have as many as you want open, but keep in mind that the more you have open, the slower it's going to run. <laughs> so just be patient. As you can see, they're each taking a little longer to load as you open them up. So I'm gonna let all of them open up to a project or a new blank canvas. And then I'll start copying and pasting things. So some things that people don't realize is that, especially with the Mac, file, when new window, opens a new window, edit, you've got co cut, copy, paste, select all, emoji symbols, all that, and that's for the Mac again. View is probably the most used one that I have if my design space is running slow or it's lagging or it's stuck. You can hit reload. Um, if it's doing all of that and reload doesn't work, then do force reload, but save your project first. I'll do a whole video on that um, aspect in a bit, but for now we're just going to keep it as the three screens and show you how to copy and paste. You would think that it'd be pretty easy, and it is. It's just like any other time that you want to copy and paste. Copy, so right click, copy, or select all, edit, copy. Go to your new screen, edit, paste, just kidding, right click, paste, meh, there we go. Again, see, as you open more, they get slower and slower, so just remember that. All right, so same thing over here, edit, paste, and it'll paste in the new window. In a moment. <laughs> Again, just remember, super slow. Let's see. The edit and paste doesn't seem to be working as well as just the right click and paste. There we go. Right click and paste works better, apparently. <laughs> so now you have all three. I like to use this feature when I am making designs and shirt mock ups. That way I can just have the three mock-ups good to go. I could put each design on there, save them. It makes it so much more productive instead of like cutting, saving, cutting, saving, cutting. It's just, I don't know. For me, it was easier and it's a pretty cool feature. And then the other part is, is if you want to have it open and work on one project, but also work on another one, like my brain works, it's like all over the place all the time. So... <laughs> I like to have all three screens open. So, I'm um, trying to think of if there's anything else that I could show you in here. 
You could add, like, do anything with this. They, it works just the same as any other um, design space. Look at that. That's so funny. So image here. Um, and that's a cute little cricket. And we'll go with I'm that mom. Here, same thing. And open up a new project. Again, just remember it does run pretty slow. Oh, I didn't want all those. See, all in the same. So I'm going to actually show you how slow it takes to save these things. So I don't want three Baby Yoda projects, so we're going to just, you know, do a different image for each one. I love that they got more Harry Potter stuff in here. It's pretty awesome. This is pretty cute. Flower wreath sticker and or flower wreath. My allergies are insane lately. All right, so oh look at that baby Yoda, he's so cute. Hulk, I'm gonna Hulk out. Lots of Earth Day, baseball. Eh, I like that one too. Insert. All right, so let that one load. So. The easiest way to make sure that it's not going to crash or run so super slow for you is going to be letting each project, each image load and settle on each screen first. <laughs> so save as Baby Yoda. Oops. No background. Mm, I'll just do that. Decals. Save. And then go over here, a uh, flower wreath. We'll save it as decals. <laughs> That's just how I've been keeping it organized since they added that new um, collections feature. I didn't want to make it. Cancel. I want to save it. I hit the wrong button, guys. Baseball. Decals. Save. See, it runs slow, but it's not that slow if you have patience and you go one by one. All right, guys. Make sure that you subscribe to my channel um, and keep an eye out for more tutorials, more quick videos. Um, I'm trying to do these in under 10 minutes so that we can... Get through exactly what you want to see, learn it, go over it, and then go from there. Um, I will show you how the force reload and all of that works in another video for you. And I've got a lot more tutorials coming. So make sure you subscribe, hit the bell, like, all that good fun stuff. Leave me a comment if there's something specific that you want to hear. Um, and make sure you check out my Discord. The link is in the description. It's just an area where we can chat um, so that we're not leaving a million comments. Don't mind the comments, but um, we can have more of a discussion on if you need help on specific things. All right, so that, my friends, is how you use Cricut Design Space in multiple screens and for different projects. Until next time, my creative friends, we'll see you later. Bye-bye.